uh, being that I'm I'm a I'm a fella with a sweet tooth, this article kind of caught my eye. Um, there was an article that got viral about uh, eating ice cream in the morning can be good for your mental health. And I was like, well, how to do? I've been saying that forever. You know, I've been trying to get ice cream for breakfast every goddamn day of my life, and sometimes I do. Sometimes I do eat ice cream for breakfast, uh, and it's delightful, and it's fun. It's great with coffee. I really enjoy ice cream and coffee. Those two things are pretty pretty magical and fantastical. Um, but, uh, but this article started going around, and I was like, all right, what's the science behind this thing, right? Like, that's my first inclination is to, like, immediately... That should fall into all of my biases, but I feel like I'm just enough of a skeptic to just be like, what's the, what's the situation? You know, why are you telling me that the sugary treat is uh, supposed to, like, help better my mental health? And basically, there's, like, a Japanese researcher or whatever, not or whatever, he, he, he was a Japanese researcher, uh, his, his name's Professor Yoshihiko Koga. And he said that it improves alertness and mental performance. Uh, and he did a study where he had a bunch of people um, eat ice cream the first thing in the morning and then not eat ice cream the first thing in the morning and then do like some tasks or whatever. And he, um, he found out that the people that ate uh, the sugary num-nums uh, were able to perform the tasks a lot better. Um, And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And and basically, he said that it gives them faster reaction times uh, and uh, less mental irritation. And <laughs> here's the crazy part: the study is backed by a Japanese sweets company, <laughs> right? Like, like it would be like Twix coming out and be like, we funded a study that basically said. That Twix is the greatest candy of all time, and if you eat it, uh, it'll make you smarter, and everything you do will be amazing. Twix funded the study to find out that Twix is basically the fountain of youth. I mean, where's the... I mean, you can't... That's science right there. It's like, is it? Is it, or is it? Is it corporately skewed? Right? Like, look, I'm a new, I, I have a sweet tooth. And I had to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck is up? Like, I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. Like, I do know that eating ice cream for breakfast is not particularly the healthiest thing to do all the time. That's why it's like, I'll eat ice cream for breakfast for a couple of days. And then I'll go and have like, like when I'm on the road, I don't fucking do that. That's... I'm on the road like 40 some odd weeks out of the year. Like if I ate ice cream every single 40 some odd weeks of the year that uh, I <laughs> was on the road, I'd fucking be dead. <laughs> I'd have a, I'd have like a, a heart attack or something, you know, like I would, I would have a fucking aneurysm. My blood sugar would spike and I would constantly be facing cardiac arrests which is part of the thing, right? And that's what the article that's what the article said is by the way, this is crazy. You shouldn't fucking put ice cream in your gullet every single fucking morning. Don't do that. Have like a balanced breakfast, right? Like I didn't eat a protein cookie today. Um but I've got these, you know, nu- nutritional fruit bars uh available as well that I will I will eat. Um I just, I, I've had a hard time, I always have a hard time eating in the morning, so I try to find something that I'm going to, like, enjoy eating, um, so I, when I moved to this country, like, I got depressed, like, I got crazy depressed, uh, you know, with all the childhood violence and trauma that you face from other eight-year-olds, when you're an immigrant that moves into a country and everybody wants to drop you on the concrete and not... Uh, be friends with you and make fun of the food that you eat and make fun of the way that you live your life. You know how that can depress you? You know how that can make you feel sad about the world? Well, that's what happened. Uh, And I I always remembered, like, my mom would be like, 
but I'll give you ice cream. <laughs> just eat something, right? Like, my mom was so desperate. She was just like, chocolate chip? I got fucking chocolate chip ice cream. Why don't you, why don't you rock some of that? That'd be great. I just want you to fucking eat something, you know? And, uh, and, I, and I never took her up on the offer because I was, like, that depressed, right? Like, I was like, ice cream's not going to fucking do anything. Uh, everybody hates me. <laughs> like... But I do know that if I ate that shit every single day, I would have been a very unhealthy child. You know, you got to balance it out. I buy these Velveeta cookies uh, that I eat on the road as well. And they're very, like, filling. Um, So when I have, like, a super busy day like this one, you know, it's it's good and easy to, like, put four of those cookies in my mouth um, and, and be satiated for a few hours. Uh, so I'm not, like, groggy and distracted on the drive. Um, but it is a crazy issue with, like, sugar and stuff, you know? Like, why... The research showed, like, you get your entire day's worth of sugar in one ice cream bar. That's bananas. One ice cream bar has an entire day's worth of sugar. Holy shit. This is banana sandwiches. So it begs the question, you know, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I think it's, it might not be the right question to ask. What will a Klondike bar do to you? It will cause uh, a variety of different health problems uh, from suppressing your immune system, cancer, and, uh, uh, you know, uh overconsumption of sugar can lead to diabetes it can lead to uh obesity and uh heart conditions so you know klondike bar will fuck you up if you eat it every day you know in moderation i'm not saying don't eat ice cream that's crazy but in moderation you'll be fine just don't you know eat it all the time swish it up put in a put you know, have an ice cream on, on, on your Monday just to, just to get your day going. You know, it's fucking Monday. A lot, of peop- a lot of people don't like Mondays. You know, some people do. Some people are excited that it's Monday. You know, some people are living a fulfilling life where they don't hate their job. You know, there's like eight of us in the world. Uh, and we don't particularly hate the Mondays, but some people do. So, yeah, fucking get that ice cream in there. You know, have a, have a good time with it. But then the rest of the week, you know, maybe have like an apple. Or some oatmeal. Or some cereal or something. Just don't keep shoving that ice cream into your mouth every morning. Uh, thinking that your your heart's not going to eventually explode. Uh, or turn into uh, goo. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. uh, Share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, And another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Krish Mohan. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.